Hello, I'm Sarah Long, and for Eagle Vision today, we'll be taking a big pastime for students. Stay tuned. Journalism surveyed students and found something interesting. Haley Weiss has a story for that. A recent poll of New Caney students found that social networking is the number one pastime. Social networking is a big deal among teenagers. 170 journalism students were surveyed in February on social networking. Facebook and Twitter was selected as the number one pastime. Facebook lets students post photos and links to their favorite sites. They can also send messages to their friends, while Twitter mainly focuses on short posts that are sweet and very to the point. I like a lot about it, but I really think it's just like an our generation thing. Twitter and Facebook are used extensively by students, but a few adults we spoke with are not too enthusiastic about the social media. I don't do either one. I'm not interested in that stuff. All right? Okay. okay. I feel that social networking is popular because people feel that have the need to feel accepted in today's society and they want their friends to like their things and what they're doing. Teacher Jim Becca has written a technology textbook for education and feels there are a few concerns with social networking in the classroom. There's a lot of debate in education about whether or not Facebook and Twitter should be in the classroom. And there are obvious concerns like students can come into a classroom and spend all their time socializing with their friends and not doing their classwork. In spite of education concerns, Mr. Becca feels Facebook and Twitter will be part of the future classrooms. For journalism and technology classes, Facebook is really a, a valuable tool. Uh, uh, parents like to see the photos and videos and stories that their sons and daughters have produced, and now they can do it on a Facebook page. In 2004, three Harvard students launched Facebook for Harvard students to stay in touch and meet new people on the campus. With a look at New Caney students' favorite pastime, I'm Haley. Make sure to attend Sue for Sue Hearts, hosted by the New Caney High School Choir. Be there or be square. This is Rowdy from Eagle Vision letting you guys know that the New Caney High School Choir Booster Club will be presenting Sweets for Sweethearts on Friday, February 8th in the auditorium. Sweets for Sweethearts is a concert that we've been working on for the past couple months. Students are really excited about singing songs for their friends as well as for their sweeties. And so we've got several, uh, well actually quite a few soloists that are ready to uh, sing for our audience as well as some choir numbers and afterwards everybody gets to enjoy dessert. Um, we, we've had a long journey with our friendship and this year we've um, become a lot closer so we picked a song about friendship. It's a Bruno Mars song, Count On Me. I'm sure y'all know it. Um, and we just, we picked it <laughs> for that reason. It was kind of like an impulse because I like to do solos a lot and partly because a lot of people said I should try out so I was like, all right, I'll try out. Don't forget to enjoy a sweet prepared by the culinary arts students with your sweetie after the show. The money goes for our booster club. Our choir booster club is an organization that supports our students by giving them scholarships for camps to learn choir music and as well as to give them uh, college scholarships, which uh, we're hoping to raise a lot of money so that we can be able to give lots of scholarships this year. I think it benefits our choir organization because it gives our girls a chance to go up on stage and get rid of their stage fright and be able to sing in front of people, which doesn't always happen much with our competitions. It's only our judges. And then also it benefits the community because it gives them a chance to see an underappreciated organization and a fine arts organization instead of only athletics and football and stuff like that. Tickets are only on sale through tomorrow during lunch. And uh, please make sure you get those tickets in advance because there will be no tickets sold at the door. This has been Rowdy with a preview of Sweets for Sweethearts.
Softball season's getting underway soon, and I'm Rachel with Eagle Vision. Our softball team came in second in district last year and went to the playoffs. There you go. Okay, we will be returning eight out of our nine starters, and we're looking to continue our playoff tradition. Come out and support us. This year, there are six starting seniors in softball. They all hope to continue the playoff tradition and hope to get past the first round. Softball's first game is at Connor High School on February 12th. JV plays at 4.30 and Varsity plays at 6. Hi, I'm here with the seniors of the softball team, and this is what we have to say about the, this upcoming season. This year is definitely going to be a great year. And we're going to go to playoffs like every other year. And we're going to make it past the first round. Come out and support your Lady Eagles. I'm Rachel Smith with Eagle Vision. Today we get to find out the new teacher for Teacher of the Week. Stay tuned for more. As far as freedom of enterprise goes, it is limited. We have zoning regulations, child labor laws. Back when we attempted... Um, I teach economics and U.S. history. My goal, my goal every day is to inspire a student with something that I have talked about or that they have discovered to inspire them to be a lifelong learner, to always look into things that interest them. A teacher's goal for their students is to reach higher for their academic classes. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher. I always enjoyed being in the classroom and learning, and I wanted to pass on my passion for social studies, all the subjects of social studies, on to other people. Well, there you have it. That was our teacher of this week. Hope you enjoyed this segment. And don't forget the Wheaton Span. Our Eagle Vision for this week. Hope to see you next time. I'm Sarah Laura coming at you from Eagle Vision.